Hello everybody and welcome to Romanceville's Tarot. I'm about to begin here with a read reading so it might not resonate with everybody. It's really important that you take whatever resonates with you and you simply leave the rest of it aside. If you feel as though it doesn't quite make sense, you're not quite feeling it all that well, toss it aside. Leave it for somebody else or for you at another moment. If you do enjoy the channel, you have not yet subscribed, please do take a brief moment of your time to click the subscribe button to show your support to the channel and to myself, and it would be greatly appreciated. That being said, we are going to begin this reading. Um, this reading is a beautiful reading about you and the universe. So the universe is sending messages out to you, you being my beautiful sign of Pisces, because I have not told you yet, this reading is dedicated to you, my dear friend Pisces. Um, the universe has three messages for you. They are more onto the uh, positive side, um, but there are still little bumps, little things that we need to look for that are on our road that we need to kind of smooth out. Um, and I'm going to finish it off with a power of love. So let's begin. So take whatever is good for you. I have embarking on a new adventure, embracing the future, and I have emerging into grace. So we are going to begin here with embarking on an adventure. This is about savoring the wonders of the world. New frontiers, they await you, and you are entering a period of expansion, and um, you're also going beyond self-imposed limitations. Even if you feel hesitant, this is the time to try something new. It's the time to do things in, let's say, a different way. You might even visit far off lands, step out of your comfort zone, and just into some fun. That is what you need. The universe wants you to know that there is a vast and wondrous vista just around the corner, but you'll never see it if you don't venture out. Adventure often entails a risk, but without it, life can really become a lackluster and stagnant. Plan a trip, take some classes that push you out of your comfort zone, experiment maybe with new ideas or new styles, do the same things that you've always done, but in new and in different ways. Go beyond your boundaries and step out of character. Questions you might want to ask yourself. What is the best adventure for me to take at this time? What has kept me from seeking this in the past? And what future adventures would I desire? What would I like? Speaking about going on adventures and about seeking what is in the future, let's embrace the future. I step into the future, but with a beautiful and open heart. What is expected in life tends to be realized at some point. And if you anticipate an amazing, a joyous, a healthy, and a prosperous future, this is certainly more likely to occur for you than if you assume the worst. You need to expect the best. You need to be open for anything. You need to imagine your life filled with happiness. Your wondrous future is resting on the horizon of your soul. It is shimmering and it is quite bright. The universe wants you to know today is yesterday's future. And in every moment, you are creating your future. And if you're potentially waiting for the future to bring you joy and bring you contentment, your desired outcome may never arrive. But if you learn to create happiness now, your days will be filled with pleasure. They will be filled with bliss. It's great to have a dream. However, if you don't learn to find satisfaction in the meantime, you may not notice when your dreams come true. The purpose of life is not about manifesting your desires, it's about discovering the inner gifts of the heart and experiencing and sharing joy. Let's be happy now. Let's enjoy the journey as much as the destination. Some questions you might want to ask yourself, what is my probable future? 
If I'm not satisfied with it, what actions, what action steps do I need to take? And what is my greatest contribution to my future? And the last message I have from universe is about emerging into grace. This is about I open my soul to grace. All is well. You can relax. You can let go. For your path is divinely guided. Gifts from the Creator are pouring into your life. And gratitude abounds. A spirit of grace is softly unfolding in your life. And the universe wants you to know. In the stillness of retreat, the gifts of spirit will emerge at your feet. In gratitude and thankfulness, an opening into the deepest spiritual realms is occurring. Simply be ready and be open as waves of sacred love will pour into your heart and grace is growing within you so that more and more you serve as a safe sanctuary for others. You could ask yourself, how does a spirit of grace uh, want to work in your life or what has blocked it from filling your life in the past or if I truly let go and I open myself to grace what will unfold those are the type of questions that you may want to ask yourself that being said we're now going to move over to your following message and your following message is with the power of love and we are talking about self-love for you you realize that love of self is necessary to love another. As the old saying goes, you can't love somebody else until you love yourself. It's true and the most important goal you can achieve in this physical dimension is that of loving yourself but unconditionally. And it's a tough one. You are the very person who knows your dark secrets, your faults, your shortcomings the best and it's easy to see the good in other people because you don't know anyone but yourself inside and out do you really think that you're the only person who knows or who is not worthy of your love your soul is perfect and your human shell is imperfect and as so everyone else is by the way the quality of love that you give out is only as good as the quality of love that you have for yourself so stop shortchanging the world by not loving yourself with the same intensity that you do with others. You've made mistakes, but you've learned from them. That's what progress and spiritual evolution are all about. You need to love your weaknesses as much as your strengths because they are your teachers. And that, my dear friend Pisces, does conclude your beautiful reading with the universe. I do hope that you enjoyed. I do hope that you're going to be able to apply this into your journey. If you do have any questions, you would like to have your own reading, romancefultarot at gmail.com. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Stay tuned for following readings and have yourself a beautiful and blessed day. Thank you for being there once again.